Hey guys, it's KJ4A and welcome to another update video for Alpha 13 Preview Talk. Uh, this is going to be episode 3. And uh, yeah, uh, Seven Days to Die was supposed to come out, well, it's supposed to come out sometime this weekend. Um, and I really don't want to go back to my, I can't play Alpha 12. I'm so psyched for Alpha 13, I'm jacked and I can't go back and deal with Alpha 12 anymore. So we're going to keep doing update videos until the darn thing's released. Alright, so for those of you who don't know, they actually go to the... Uh, Go to the Fun Pimps website. They actually have um, they actually have all the patch notes for up uh, 13 already up, and I'm gonna go over some of the things that caught my eye uh, with those patch notes. All right, one thing they did here they changed cobblestone frames. Take 10 wood and five plant fibers. Now, at first, I was very upset about the plant fibers. I don't like cutting. I don't like uh, mowing the lawn in this game. It's not fun. It sucks, but from what I understand, uh, with the skill system, you're going to get more than one plant fiber for, per harvest, depending on what tool you're using and what skill you are. So, um, basically, what they're doing, and we're going to talk about this in some up in some uh, some notes upcoming, they are basically uh, going. To, they're putting in a skill system where you're going to have two different. The way I understand it, you're going to have two different kinds of skills. You're going to have the actual skill you get that's inherited to you, um, like a, a physical skill, um, a muscle memory skill of actually doing the, the, whatever you're going to be doing. Um, like let's take mining, for example, there's going to be a skill that as you mine, you'll get more, not only will you mine faster, but you will get more stuff back, um, as you're mining. And it's going to be like that for everything from my understanding. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then they're also going to have a skill where you make better tools as you craft these tools, as you craft pickaxes, you'll make better pickaxes. And that will also help you um, mine better and um, they're going to do that for plant fibers too so we will be getting more than one plant fiber uh, per per harvest someone said when madmo was playing on that uh 40 minute video the other day that he was getting more than one plant fiber per attack per per mine i just i didn't notice that so um that's re that's really good news um they've also reduced zombie counts in biomes all biomes except for wasteland um I did not see this coming. This is incredible. And from what I understand, from what I'm looking at it here with uh, with a lot of the other systems they're introducing to the game, it seems like they want to pull back the zombies as a threat and raise true survival threats. And what I mean by that is true survival threats is not zombies. We, if we, you know, if we're caught out in the wilderness, we don't have to worry about zombies. We have to worry about, you know, the cold, exposure, hunger, thirst. And it seems like they're kind of pulling back the zombies a little bit and giving us more hunger, thirst, uh, you know, temperature is going to be a huge thing in this update. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm not I'm not opposed to that. I really love the way the zombies work in this game. I love the way that they're a threat. And some people are upset about it because that's what they, that's what they love about this game and they don't want to see it changed. Well, I've been playing this game for a thousand hours and like 13 alphas now and I, I kind of want a little bit of a change. I don't mind it. And you know what? You could still keep the zombies in there. And hey guys, if the zombies aren't enough for you, just turn up the spawns. You know, that's, I mean, I play on normal and it's, it's relatively challenging until late game, uh, you know, and then you could jack up the spawns. So having the spawns high, even in early game is going to be a bit of a challenge for most of us mortals. Maybe not you uber awesome players, but for us normal people, it's going to be enough of a challenge and you're going to have to worry about, now you're going to have to worry about hypothermia and, and heat stroke and stuff like that. So, um, I like where they're going with it. I like where they're going with it. I thought, I thought seven days to die was kind of lacking in the survival aspect it was more like battle the zombies and that's it um food and drink was never really an issue uh you know so we'll see we'll see where it goes i'm i'm quite excited for it um also for the sake of my let's play if having that little bit of zombies is boring i will not hesitate to turn up the spawns um i'm gonna start the series we talked about crafting and and uh did we talk about crafting and i'm pretty sure we talked about the loot and uh, crafting timers and the loot timers in case we didn't last video i'll reiterate they are actually Getting rid of all the loot and crafting timers. Actually, I might not have talked about this. This was this happened somewhat recently. Okay, so they're getting rid of they're getting rid of all the crafting and loot timers. Um, you're gonna have you're gonna have to use them. Uh, they're not getting rid of the timers. They're getting rid of our ability to take out the timers. Uh, so we're gonna have to use them. A lot of people were up in arms, just losing their minds, and a lot of people were like, "Cage, what do you think?" Because they figured I would just blow up and just lose my mind. Um, I'm okay with it because it's tied to a skill system. As you loot, your skill will go up and you will loot faster. As you craft, your skill will go up and you will craft faster. It makes total sense. If you're going through and looting stuff continuously, you're going to know how to loot stuff quicker as you're going along. You're going to you're going to recognize things you need quicker. You're going to recognize when there's nothing. Like if you're going into someone's pockets 
or if you're going into a cooler or you know a piece of garbage, you're gonna know what's in there quicker because you're gonna have more experience. I love it. And you're gonna when you're crafting stuff, you're gonna craft faster because you're gonna be better at it. It makes total sense. The realism is spot on, and I just think it's great. And I'm I'm a big fan of progression. Uh, now as a let's player, this can be a little challenging for me. Um, but you know what? Those loot timers, you know, you you start looting something, then boom. I don't think it's gonna be that big of a deal for a let's play. I always thought it was a waste because there was nothing done with it. Now there's something being done with it through the skill system, and I think that's really, really cool. Um, like I said, I'm a big fan of progression, and this gives even more progression. So um, loot crafting timers, I'm, I'm on board with it. I'm on board with it. And, uh, you know, I don't think it's going to even affect the Let's Play that much. The crafting timers won't even matter because you get you could queue up four things. Um, and the loot timers, you know, we'll, we'll get used to it. We'll get used to it. I played with loot timers with Star and Royal for a while, and, like, I kind of forgot they were on after a while. And plus, they're going to get faster and faster. So... Yeah, so there we go. Uh, another thing is they've removed the Santa hat. So the Santa hat has been in the game for two years. I had to I had to look at that stupid effing thing all summer. And now, three weeks before Christmas, these guys take it out. I mean, that's like the troll of all trolls. Bravo, pimps. Bravo. Um, grain alcohol is going to lower wellness. That's a, needed, that's a needed thing because grain alcohol needs to be... Uh, um, it was overpowered and need to be balanced. Um, wood upgrades cost five wood. This is just an example, but they're raising the cost of everything. Yeah, they're raising the cost of everything, but like I said, with our skills, we're going to get better at stuff. We're going to get more stuff back. It's not just we're going to mine faster. It's cutting down a tree will not just be faster. We will get more wood from that tree. So um, they're just raising the cost of stuff for the balance. Um, antibiotics is not, no longer going to give wellness. That kind of blows. Um, increased vitamin wellness from 0.5 to 1. That's pretty cool. So I like that. Here's a big one. This this might be one of the biggest sleeper um, thing. This might be one of the biggest sleeper changes of the update, if I'm reading this correctly. Stone axe and fire axe are now butcher tools, quote unquote butcher tools. And what I what I think of butcher tools, I feel like we can use that on the deer we kill to get hide. Now, uh, Mad Mole said that you're going to need tools to get hide off deer and animals. You can't just kill an animal and use your hands to get the hide. You need, you need the proper tool. He didn't say butcher tool, but he said you need the proper tool. But I don't know what else that could mean. And if that means that you could get hide with a stone axe off of an animal, bravo. That's freaking fantastic. Because I was really worried about not being able to... I mean, you need, that, you need that hide for a ton of stuff, including the forge. So... I was very, very worried about that, and um, that will have alleviated all my concerns. <laughs> this is a cool one. If you are drunk, you are immune to stun. <laughs> so, so I think that's hilarious. You just go get blasted, and all of a sudden, the zombies can't stun you anymore. Uh, that's pretty funny. Um, they've lowered block damage on the stone and fire axe. So basically, uh, basically it's going to take us forever to get through doors. Um, I know this sucks as a, as a, as a change. But you got to understand, this is all for the sake of progression, because if they're going to have, if you're going to get better at cutting through doors, and you're going to make better axes as time goes by, you're going to need to start off on the low end. You can't, you can't take 10 seconds to get through a door when you first start the game, because then it leaves you nowhere to go, if that makes any sense. That's progression. Um, there's no way around it. Um, the only way you could maybe change that is if you make, I would like to see this, I would like to see specific zones uh, have like levels that you should be there like the forest zone would be like the level like the early level zones like the level one zone and then maybe like the plains biome would be somewhere you'd go when you start getting a little higher level a little bit better tools and i think the way you could deal with that is by putting no doors in the far in buildings in the forest put doors in the buildings in the bio in the in the in the plains biomes and then put really strong doors on the buildings in the hub cities um maybe like big huge metal strong doors and then that will give you progression you know if you go to the hub city with a stone axe yeah you're going to take forever to break down the door and you know what that loot's going to be better so it's risk reward do you want to do that or not um because right now it's just the doors are all the same so it's going to take a really long time to break them down in the beginning of the game and they're going to go down like you're cutting through paper at the end of the game um so that's a bit of an issue so we'll see uh, okay, so they've added, excuse my language here, but they've added shit to the toilets. And you can throw it. And all I have to say about this is stay classy, fun pimps, stay classy. Like, what's the point of that? It doesn't even have a point. Now, here's what would make, I, everyone, when I first saw feces and arc, like, defecation, I was like, this is stupid. Wait, you know, what, what is this? This is like toilet humor. What's the point? 
but you could use it for farms. And then it made sense, and I, I love the idea now. Um, now, hopefully, the pimps are heading towards that. The pimps, the t- the pimps tend to put things out in stages. Um, you know, they'll, they'll put they'll put feces in the game, and then in an update down the road, you'll use feces with your crops to grow crops faster or better. Um, and I think that's where they're going with it. Um, if you just put feces in the game to throw at people, I don't know. That's kind of lame, and I don't, uh, you know, whatever. Um, but if it's used for crops, now you're talking. That's a game. That's a game decision. I really like that. So I'm pretty sure that's where they're going now. Um, so they're talking a lot about temperature and how it'll work. Um, you're going to have a temperature out in the world, and then your body's going to have a core body temperature. Getting wet will make you get cold quicker. Uh, it'll cool you down. You know, stuff like that. All different kinds of things. It's all basic ideas like you know it's, it's not rocket science and and you know if you're wet you're going to be more prone to hyperthermia you know so if you're in the desert you want to cool down go jump in a lake or something you know whatever um so that's pretty cool the, the one thing i did not see on the on the patch notes was how they will affect you um if you're suffering from hyperthermia are you going to lose hit points stamina wellness all three none anything um, like I said, the, the fun pimps like to put things out in stages. It would not surprise me if all these, if all the temperature things were in place, and they didn't affect you at all yet. Like that would be in the next update. Um, or it wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if they did affect you, and the fun pimps just didn't tell you, and they let you find it out yourself. Um, discovery. So I'm not really sure that's going to work. Um, I really wasn't sure about doing this video. This video could be uh, almost pointless because it's, this, it's Saturday and this update could come out today. But uh, I, like I said, I need some 7 Days to Die to go up and I can't play 12.5. I just I can't do it. Um, it's I'm ready. My, I am so ready for Alpha 13. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for this uh, this update video and I will see you later.